I'm just going to make sure we are up and running. We'll just give a couple more minutes, guys, just to wait for a few more people to join us. And we'll be up and running very shortly. Hi, Tracy. Thank you for joining us. And we're just giving it a couple more minutes, guys. And we'll get going very, very soon. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, boss. Alrighty. We are going to kick off. So if I haven't seen you come up yet, please say hello. I'd love to see who's joining us. Um, so I can say hi. Um, but yes, yeah, so hi and welcome to our first ever virtual advocacy session. Uh, my name is Mona Lisa and I'm one of the advocates for the Foster and Kinship Carers Association, NT. The amazing Ros Harvard in Alice Springs is our other advocate. So if you are joining us um, from Alice Springs all the way through to Tennant Creek, please make sure to touch base with Ros. She would love to chat with you guys. For those of you who may not have seen some of the lead up posts leading up to today, um, the purpose of today's session is to introduce myself um, and also explain one of the core support services we provide for our members, which is advocacy. Now, if I've completely lost you at the word advocacy, brilliant, you're exactly who I want to speak to. Now, before I go into all things advocacy, I want to run through some housekeeping so you all know what to expect. Um, first of all, this is a live stream, so if you have joined, other participants will be able to see that, if, that you have joined. Um, if you're not happy about that, I do suggest that you log off and watch this at a later date because we will make it available for download after the live stream. Items here um, discussed here are open for everyone to see, so please be ref respectful of others' privacy. Um, thirdly, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comments box, private message me, email me, or even jump onto our website and leave a comment there. But be warned, this is not a forum for you to air grievances. That doesn't mean you can't, it just means you can't do it here. However, there will be an opportunity for you to do so, um, and I'll explain more on that um, and how to do that at the end of today's session. I'll also have a Q&A session at the end where I will try and get to all your questions then. I'll make sure to check again at the end of today's session and contact you with an answer if I don't get to it during today's session. Um, also in the description box, have a look. There is a bit of an ag and a agenda there. Um, so you'll be able to see what we want to talk about today. It'll also include a link to our website and all our contact details, including how to contact me. So please be sure to note those down. Last of all, um, if you see me stop and write things down, I'm not ignoring all of you. Um, I just want to make sure that if you are asking questions, I've taken your name down um, and I've been able to take some of your queries. Um, that way I can get back to you guys. So first things first, who am I? Um, as I said earlier, my name is Mona Lisa and I joined the organization in October last year. Prior to joining the organization, I worked as a community relations coordinator, um, which meant that I was able to work with a lot of um, community organizations. I also have some legal background uh, where I worked as a legal secretary for a season and I'm studying law part time. So why did I join Foster and Kinship Carers Association? Um, I'm really deeply passionate about people and people having a fair go. So like all people, I've gone through some situations in life that didn't exactly go the way I would have liked it to. Um, and though there are some things that do happen in life um, that are out of our control, there are some things that I think could have gone better had I had the right people around me helping me. Um, and that's what I love most about Foster and Kinship Carers Association is that that's exactly what we're all about. We're all about making sure your voices are heard and empowering you through knowledge, support and advocacy. 
We do this through contributing to the development of policy and legislation. Um, we provide information on carers' rights and we provide access to support and networking opportunities, social events as well as training. So what is advocacy? My favourite definition of ad advocacy is the process of standing alongside an individual who feels disadvantaged and speaking out on their behalf when they feel they cannot do so. And we do this to promote, protect and defend your rights, your welfare and justice. There are two ways in which we do this, individual advocacy and systemic advocacy. So individual advocacy is where I get to work with you one-on-one -on -one, um, and address any issues that you may be having in your role as carer or when you may need further guidance in regards to policy and, policy and legislation. For example, if you don't have a care plan for your foster child and you are having difficulty getting it, we can help you with that. Or if you're, re, um, if you're receiving incorrect allowances, uh, we can help resolve that for you. But I do want you guys to remember the definition I gave you earlier, which was we're here to stand alongside you and not over and above you. So that doesn't mean um, that we're going to be your voice. It just means that we're going to help your voice be heard. And so we want to empower that, empower you to do that as well. Um, systemic advocacy is where we seek to make sure the voices of foster and kinship carers as a collective um, are heard. And that means we look to influence and help change policy and legislation, and we seek to lobby government for positive um, change. An example of systemic advocacy is the Charter of Rights. We heard your feedback where you told us you didn't know your rights as carers and it's not listed anywhere. So we initiated the development of the Charter of Rights. The Charter of Rights is the voice of foster and kinship carers. It was developed by carers for carers in the Northern Territory. If you don't have a copy, you can find a copy on our website. Um, please jump on and have a read of it if you haven't done so already. It's one of the most important pieces of work we've done. Now, obviously doing something like this, it isn't just done by our own organisation. If we're going to develop processes to ensure that your voices are heard, then it means we need to consult your, your voices. And so I'm so pleased to announce that last year we launched the Carer Advisory Group. So shout out to any of the Carer Advisory Group members that are currently um, joining us right now. The Carer Advisory Group is a group that is made up of carers who I meet with monthly to consult about systemic issues, where I get to hear about what carers are experiencing out there um, and who I seek advice about from what carers need. The advisory group is made up of an incredible group of people from Darwin and Alice Springs um, who come from all different walks of life. We have members who have been carers for five months um, and we have other members who have been carers for 15 years. We have members who are stay-at-home parents and members who are also shift workers. Um, we have members who are small business owners and members who are engineers um, and also radio producers. The Carer Advisory Group are going to be your cheerleaders and we're so excited for all the awesome things that come out of this group. So please um, keep an eye out on our Facebook page, our Ease new letters, um, newsletters because um, they're doing some really awesome work and we can't wait for you to see it. So that in a nutshell is advocacy. Um, so how do you access this service? There are two ways you can submit a request for advocacy. Um, in our description box, there is a, um, it tells you what our um, website is. And if you go to our website, you'll actually find a link that takes you to an advocacy service request form. If you complete that form online, once I have, I have received it, I will make contact with you and organise a time um, to discuss this further with you and go through that with you. Alternatively, you can email me at info at fkca.org.au or contact me on 1300 030 928. Again, those details can be found in the description box. So please, um, if you can't see it, if you can't find it, um, just private message us or comment on our Facebook page and we can help send that through to you. Now, I'm very aware that some of our carers may not always have the opportunity to contact me. So that brings me to this live stream. On the bottom of this, um, or in our description box, you'll, there is a follow button. I would love you all to please follow and like me. 
That way you will be notified every time I jump online, uh, which I will be doing on the last Wednesday of every month. I'll be doing a live stream just like I did today. And that way I can connect with you guys if you are unable to do so any other way. There are times where I may um, come online and actually like put a, a certain session on um, and we might talk about a particular subject. We can talk about care plans. Um, I might even invite a guest over. We could have the grandparent advisor come and chat to you guys through here. Um, and there are other times where I can actually just jump on to um, book appointments with you guys and arrange appointments with you guys. But either way, this is just another way that we can make sure we are connecting with you guys. Um, as times move on, you know, it's, it's not everyone is working the same hours, not everyone has the same circumstances. So we want to make sure that we're trying to reach you guys in all the um, different ways and all the, um, all the ways that there is. So that does bring us um, to the end of today's introductory session. Like I said, the main purpose of today's session was to let you all know who I am, Please come and say hi if you haven't already done so. Again, I can't stress enough. Please contact me. Our number is there. Our website is there. Um, and our email address is there. Please contact me with any issues um, that you're having, even if you want to ask a question. Um, we have our awesome care support officer, Izzy. So she, you know, if you haven't met Izzy as well, please come in and have a chat with Izzy. And she can also help you um, with training and some awesome events that we do have coming up. Um, you will be able to find more information on our Facebook page about the awesome training events that we are coming up, that we do have coming up. Um, so that concludes our little introductory session. Um, again, like and follow us. I am going to go through and just check whether anyone has any questions. Um, and we'll stay on for a couple of minutes just to see if you guys do. Um, feel free to comment in the comments box the way Cheryl has. Um, Cheryl is also online with us as well and joining us so if you have any questions for Cheryl and she is a very great boss um, best cheerleader ever so um, please feel free to use us while we're here online and well I'll just run through I haven't seen anything just yet and if I didn't say so earlier we will also be making this available um, later on after the stream to for everyone to be able to download and we'll include links there as well for you guys to have a look at as well. So I believe we'll just wait a couple more minutes. So we don't have any questions yet. Yep, thanks Cheryl. Um, for those of you who aren't already aware, there is a new Carers Handbook. It's now available, which incorporates the new Who Pays Guide. If you don't, um, if you haven't already had a chance to look at it um, and you don't know where you can find it, please contact us again and we can help you out with that. And we'll just give it a couple more minutes. So if anyone has any more questions or want to jump on and join, we'll stay online for a little bit longer. All right, everyone, I am going to log off, but even though I won't be live, I will be online. Um, I'll still be on our Facebook page for the next 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so even though I'm not live, if you do have any questions, I'll be on our Facebook page ready to help you guys um, with any of your questions. So please feel free to keep asking them. Thank you so much. 
for joining us for the first time. Um, thank you. Let all your friends know. Um, let, let everyone know that this is something that we are doing for everyone. You know, um, it really helps people who can't otherwise get into our office during normal work hours um, or even be able to call us during the day. So please get the word out and let everyone know. On the last Wednesday of every single month, I will be here. Have an awesome week, guys. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to meet and talk to you guys soon. See ya.